she's tight. Everything on this small tractor is really tight. I have to take this PTO guard off because, well, number one, I'm not using the rear PTO, and number two, it's bumping the cylinder. Other than that, it does raise up all the way without hitting anything. The cylinder probably extends out. The hydraulic top link probably extends out more than it needs to. I don't need that much angle. I'll never really use that much angle. Um, so I should have got the next one shorter, but this one will get short enough to where when I drop the blade down, I can still bring that top link in to make it to where when I'm dragging, actually the material can just go out the back. Okay, so we can hear. This cylinder came off of Amazon and it came out of Holland. And believe it or not, it got here in three days. I was shocked. So I did have to grind this end down, the ear that connects to the top link pin on, on the tractor. It was too wide, so that was no problem. Just took me a few minutes on a bench grinder just to grind that down. And it came with these hoses. The hoses, I want to say, were two feet. And it had the large Pioneer connector on it that does not work with the rear remote on this. It's just a different different type of connector. And at the same time, they cut those off. They then created this extension, which is an 18-inch extension that plugs into the rear remote. And then it's controlled by a rear remote valve. And it's a two-position valve, so uh, this pushes, this opens the cylinder always returns to neutral and then down retracts the cylinder and this cylinder has a locking block it's really important to get a cylinder with a locking block mechanism or have a locking block on your hydraulic control on your rear remote uh, but what that does is when there's no pressure open or close pressure uh, the cylinder maintains the pressure with some valves in there and so it doesn't seep out over time. It keeps that blade or whatever implement you have in the correct position. And then it's really easy, of course, to adjust this from the seat to go from cutting to smoothing to pulling material to um, leveling out and then backing up and leveling and keeping that blade up so it doesn't dig in because you really don't want to dig in on a three-point um, hitch on a small tractor like this. It's just not really designed for that but it'll pull until it, until it doesn't have enough traction. So you have to feather that blade out to, you know, make it acceptable to, for the tractor. And this is a 48 inch. It probably could do a 60 inch, but you know, I would, I would definitely, it would slow me down because I would be able to take less material before the tractor bogged down. So I'm going to keep this video short. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments.